Assemblymember Russell. I want to ask about uh, the experience of the passengers who are actually waiting to use this line. But before I get on to those questions, I just want to pick up on something that Terry said at the very beginning. You said that we mitigated one risk and others materialised. And I just wonder if you could expand on that a bit more, because it seems, that, you know, whether that is what it is that has actually caused this uh, decision about the delay. Um, as I think, in a way, uh, Simon answered the question, but the whole essence of testing is to really test the system to make sure it's safe and reliable. And by its very nature, you find out things with what is relatively immature software that we're testing for the first time. We found, we found things. We, we built into our plans assumptions about how we'd handle that and how quickly we could respond to mm -hmm. those problems as they were identified. So, for example, we have a test track. We have rigs running 24 hours a day to try and mitigate some of those issues. But, of course, when you find a new problem, it takes time to actually work out what the solution is. Okay, so so basically that you were referring to the, the software okay, um, indeed. problems indeed. that you were having. Thank you. Okay, I will um, move on because I want to um, actually ask the Mayor um, about whether this delay could be used positively for the millions of people who will eventually be using Crossrail when it's fully operational. So they may be delayed, but they are still coming to Oxford Street. Now, you told uh, Assembly Member Pigeon in an answer to an MQ that you will not walk away from Oxford Street, and you also described it as substandard public realm. So this delay could give you a chance to bring that public realm up to scratch in time for this big increase in pedestrians. So what is your plan to manage this massive increase in people now that your pedestrianisation plans have failed, have stalled, sorry? Well, if you, if you recall, at a previous Mayor's question time, uh, in response to a question asked by colleagues on the Assembly, uh, I answered that the uh, Council of Westminster have been asked to come back to us with their counter-proposals. You'll be aware we spent two years uh, consulting, mm. liaising, adjusting our plans to pedestrianise Oxford Street, working with the Council, TFL and many other important stakeholders, including the businesses. Westminster Council decided at 11th hour to walk away from those plans. The council have now gone away and are working on new plans, and so I'm due to meet the leader of the council, uh, I think this month or, or shortly, where she'll be presenting the plans the council has. Clearly, TfL and others will consider those plans, uh, and then we'll hopefully find a way to move forward. I, I meant what I said about not, not walking away. Uh, this is a very important um, uh, business community. Oxford Street is the busiest uh, uh, shopping street in Europe, we it to thrive and prosper. There are challenges to Oxford Street, with uh, shopping malls uh, across London, but also uh, more and more internet shopping. We want Oxford Street to thrive. Okay, and so will you, if necessary, use all your powers at your disposal to ensure that Oxford Street is fit for purpose before these crossrail passengers arrive? Yeah, subject, subject to the Council willing to, willing, willing to work collegiately and in partnership with other key stakeholders. Okay. It's, it's not acceptable for you to spend two years working on a project, spend uh, millions of pounds of taxpayers' money, have numerous consultation meetings, then at a whim, walk away from those uh, plans. The responsibility is on Westminster Council now to come forward with their improved plans. And of course, I look forward to seeing if they work. OK, I'm going to ask Mike now. Um, uh, in the... The status quo on Oxford Street is not okay. Um, we know that urgent attention is needed to deal even with the current overcrowding, let alone with the overcrowding that will come from the new um, Crossrail passengers. Has TfL done a healthy streets check on Oxford Street in its current condition? And if not, will you? Well, we're, I have a meeting actually with the uh, Chief Executive of Westminster Council uh, as, as soon as next week just to go through uh, exactly where we are and precisely those sort of very technical detailed mm -hmm. issues around the current situation on Oxford Street. Mm -hmm. So we do continue to look at it. Of course it is, just for the ones who die, it's Westminster Council Street. So actually it's their ultimate accountability to ensure the safety there. But I am, I would never walk away or shirk our, I think, wider responsibility across London for any street, wherever it is, to ensure that it's safe and uh, healthy in terms of uh, it, its environment. So the answer is 
yes, I will absolutely ensure that we do whatever we can. Of course, as the Mayor rightly said, we need to wait and see what proposals uh, the Leader of Westminster and colleagues come back with uh, very soon, we hope, to see um, how much that takes the situation forward uh, and you know I remain uh, optimistic and confident that the right thing to do is to have a significant step change in the way that Oxford Street operates for uh, those who want to move around it. Okay now just say you, th that it's not possible to sort things out with Westminster there are s sort of th there could be some improvements made to Oxford Street without a big overall scheme you could, you know, treat it almost. It could be treated almost like a, a temporary work scheme. You could be assessing every single junction and making sure that there's sufficient time for pedestrians to cross the road. That the pavements are actually big enough to hold the numbers of people who are standing there. That the pedestrian comfort levels are adequate. Um, would you look at treating, you know, to, just to make sure that this um, pedestrian environment is ready for these people when they do eventually come in 2019, will you look at treating it almost like a sort of temporary scheme? You're really good at it, you know, with all the building works that are going on in London, um, so that you reduce the danger that people face. Well, well on that just street. to reassure you, of course, we will look at doing whatever it takes to ensure the environment is safe and the, the environment works properly with the opening of the core section of, of, of Crossrail. But, you know, I remain optimistic that we will ultimately see a sensible, coherent proposal coming through from colleagues at Westminster Council that will actually take us some way down the transformation scheme that the Mayor has so eloquently described. Okay, and then TfL told the Budget and Performance Committee that 30% of the Elizabeth Line passengers would be new to TfL, including people who would decide not to drive. How many people, or what proportion of that 30%, would be specifically switching from cars in the, this way? Well, I can't give you that answer at the moment off the top of my head, but I'm very happy to come back to you in writing with that number, uh, that, okay, that figure. Okay, and have you modelled the delay of the scheme, um, the, the impact that that's going to have on your mode share targets? Well, no, no, and again, that is something that we're looking at, because clearly what I don't want to do is, is set a, a huge stream of work running until I've got the clarity of the action dates because you wouldn't want to do a piece of work mm -hmm. that then within days might slightly adjust when you get sure. greater clarity of the work but I can assure you we will be looking at that and I'm very happy to keep in dialogue with you on that work. Thank you very much and um, finally um, just going back to the buses that um, Assemblymember Eftalomi uh, raised you have already consulted on removing four or five bus routes from Oxford Street Will, when can we actually expect to see this and will it be delayed as passengers won't be able to shift onto Crossrail well, until well, later? Well, there's two issues with Oxford Street. One, of course, was coincident, which is the point I was asked, uh, yeah. answering previously around the overall sort of links in to what would have been a new uh, line at a particular time. But the other thing is actually there is a, an issue anyway in Oxford Street with how effectively the bus service operates mm. and what uh, the, the ridership is and whether actually the frequency of bus services is uh, in itself helpful for the movement of buses actually yep. as well as for the movement of other people uh, yep. around the street. So uh, I can assure you as I did in the previous uh, answer that we will absolutely be assessing every individual change in the context of this uh, emerging situation with Crossrail to ensure that we don't inconvenience anybody but that where there are changes that are still required because they are the right thing to do regardless uh, we will of course be consulting and moving forward on those. Thank you. Thank you very much, Assemblymember Curtin.